they're like friends to enemies to lovers to it's just a a big mess and I love every second of it hello everybody it's your girl Jay and today I am here with a video that I saw Haley from Haley's Bookland do yesterday and I love the idea so I was like hmm I too shall do this. Apparently, I'm just very inspired by Haley this month because I just did the bookmoji challenge, which she created, and now I'm doing this. Whatever. I'll leave the link to her video down below if you want to check it out. The video is recommending books that your subscriber gives you prompts for. So I asked you guys on Twitter to send me some prompts so that I could recommend you guys some books based off of those, and y'all came through, so thank you so much. I ended up choosing five to talk about this round. I tried to pick books that I don't talk about too much on my channel, and ones that I don't see all that much on booktube so maybe you'll get some new books to check out but without further ado let us get started <sighs> the first prompt that I was sent was a book with two characters on the covers you would think that I would choose a contemporary for this one because it's usually those books that have two people on the cover being all lovey-dovey but no I chose a thriller instead because we know that your girl loves her thrillers. So I chose We Are the Goldens by Dana Reinhardt, and this one is about two sisters, Nell and Layla, who have always been inseparable. When Nell starts school at City Day, she notices that Layla has been drawing into herself and kind of avoiding Nell, and she doesn't really know why. When Nell discovers that Layla is hiding a very big secret, she needs to decide whether or not to keep that secret to herself or tell somebody in order to save Layla from herself, and it's like the story of that. I read this book back in 2016, so I will say it has been a while since I've picked it up, but I remember really enjoying it and it being super suspenseful. I did end up calling what the big secret was, but I still couldn't put the book down and I really wanted to know how that secret played out in the end. I think I gave this a four out of five stars, so I did really enjoy it, so I definitely think that you guys should check this one out. The next prompt I got was a book about being in the foster care system or having been in the foster care system, so I kind of tweaked this a little bit and chose Middletown by Sarah Moon. This is about Eli, who is 13 years old, and her older sister Anna, who's 17. Their mom is an alcoholic and she was just arrested for drunk driving and she is forced into rehab and so the two sisters decide that they do not want to enter foster care and they want to stay together. So Anna ends up acting like their Aunt Lisa, who is their mother's sister, but lives very far away. And it's like this story about them trying to avoid the foster care system. So I kind of did cheat on this, but it has the foster care system in it, just not the kids actually being in the system, if that makes sense. But this is a middle grade novel. It explores a lot of serious topics in a really gentle way since it is middle grade. It talks about alcoholism, substance abuse, gender identity, sexuality, neglect. It's just a really good story. And I definitely do think that a lot of young teenagers will be able to see themselves in Eli. I think that it tackles those topics pretty well. It also goes into sexual harassment, which I really liked, especially because that's not often talked about in middle grade books. The next prompt so. I received was a book with an emotion in the title. The first book that I did think of was More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera, but I didn't want to do that one, so... I decided to go with House of Salt and Sorrows by Erin A. Craig. I just feel like happy is way too, like, easy of an emotion to try to find a book for, so I wanted to find one that was more of a complex emotion. Mm, putting my psychology degree to good use, but I really loved this. It's the 12 Dancing Princesses retelling. It's very atmospheric, very dark, and I loved it. I believe I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I think that one of the best aspects of this book was the descriptions of the balls that the girls' sisters attended during their dream montages. You'll have to read the book to know what I'm talking about, but it's just so beautifully done that you can picture everything so well. Also, all of the like landscape descriptions, just the vivid imagery that it produces is just so awesome. This is another one of my favorite fairy tale retellings, so I definitely think that you guys should pick this one up too. The next prompt I got was a book with five or more words in the title, so I chose To Have Into Hoax by Martha Waters. This is the first book in a companion series. The second book just got released very recently. I think it's called To Love and To Loathe or something like that, but I am very intrigued with it. Do I own it? 
no, but I want it so badly. I ended up giving the book 4.5 out of 5 stars. It is so funny and the characters are so witty. It follows Violet and James who have been married for the past five years, but due to an argument that they had, they have not spoken for the last four. After a letter arrives stating that James has been in a terrible riding accident, Violet rushes to their countryside estate and finds that he is perfectly fine. Violet decides that to get her revenge, she is going to pretend to fall ill and that's when James discovers this trick and decides to play along and that starts a little war to one-up each other and it is just, like I said, so funny, so witty. The characters are two of my favorite of all time. It's like kind of an enemies to lovers trope but like they're like friends to enemies to lovers to- it's just a a big mess and I love every second of it. I also really loved the supporting characters in this so I'm so excited for the spin-off companion novel that focuses on a few of these characters as well. I just love these dumbass characters. This is basically the whole point of this recommendation. Read it for the characters. They are wonderful. And then the final prompt that I received was a book with purple on the cover and obviously I had to choose this prompt because purple is my favorite color, we all know this. So I chose The Traitor's Prince by CJ Redwine. This whole series is like companion novels but they all follow different fairy tale retellings so I have always been a fan of this series just because I freaking love fairy tale retellings. This one is a retelling of the Arabian Prince mixed with the Prince and the Pauper, which I think is a very cool combination. I really like the concept of the tournament in this. The whole like storyline is Javon has been training for the past 10 years to fulfill his mother's dying wish of becoming the top graduate of this combat school. So nobody has seen him for 10 years and on his journey home back to the palace, he is intercepted by this other person who ends up kidnapping him and tricking the ailing king into thinking that this is actually his son. So Javon ends up coming to the palace and getting thrown into the dungeon. And in order to gain audience with the king to try to prove his identity, he has to take part in the annual tournament to win this prize. One thing I also really loved about this book was that the chapters are so short and easy to read and I have the attention span of a goldfish so this just made this book fly by really quickly because I wasn't like counting the pages to the end of the chapters like I do in some books like Cassandra Clare. Longest fucking chapters ever! This one did not have that problem so I really enjoyed it. But yeah, this is my purple cover recommendation for y'all. I really think you should pick up this entire series. It's a lot of fun. Fairy tale retellings are you know, always a good time. So there you go. Alright everybody, so that was my recommending books to you based off of prompts that you gave me. <laughs> Let me know down below if you would like to see another one of these videos because I do have a couple more prompts that I could use from you guys. Also, let me know if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!